This is by listener DM request. And this is another thing that I have to reteach constantly to paramedic students because they were taught incorrectly. CPAP does not correct pulmonary edema by pushing the fluid out of the lungs. That doesn't even make sense. But our instructors are teaching our students that that's how CPAP works. And it shows that they don't understand what they are teaching. CPAP isn't like some friggin' industrial wind tunnel fan that's going to dry out the lungs and generate pressure to push the fluid out of the lungs. No, 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 no. When the patient has severe pulmonary edema, the alveoli are flooded. Oxygen cannot get through the pulmonary edema to diffuse into the bloodstream. This is why the patient is hypoxic. The patient's breathing in good ambient oxygen, or even 100% oxygen if they're on a non-breather mask, but it can't go anywhere because the alveoli are flooded and the oxygen molecules can't get to the alveolar membrane. CPAP via non-invasive ventilation, which is the conventional CPAP mode that we all know and love and that EMS services across the world use, delivers continuous positive pressure into the airways. Yes, the patient is breathing in a nice gush of inspiratory pressure from the CPAP. And that certainly is a good thing, but that's not the benefit with CPAP. The magic with CPAP happens when the patient exhales and has to breathe against the pressure delivered by the CPAP. The patient exhaling against the CPAP pressure creates a force that results in back pressure. This back pressure is delivered backwards, duh, and down the lower airways and into the alveoli. This back pressure then distends the alveoli and pops them open. This is what we mean when we say that it stents the alveoli open. Now that the alveoli are popped open and distended, they are stretched out and bigger. This means that the alveolar membrane is bigger and that there is now more room for air exchange because the pulmonary edema is still there, but the container is much bigger and the edema isn't totally flooding the alveolus. The CPAP really doesn't do jack squat for moving the fluid. Once hypoxia is corrected and the patient's hemodynamics are improved by using medications to reduce preload, afterload, maybe increasing contractility, correcting volume overload, the pulmonary edema will then be cleared out by the circulatory system. That is how CPAP works.